Howdy y'all, got the Bulldog on the channel. Another one where they just decided, eh, why not? Eh, no, it, we'll never have to deal with it. That's somebody else's problem. Working on the Equinox. Got the parts in today. Up in here. You see the gasket? It has a bar going across the top of it, trapping it, unless you take the motor mount loose. Really? Well, here's the problem. You gotta be underneath of it to you know, take the bolt loose, get the gasket out the bottom side, but you also have to be on top of it to take the other two mount bolts loose and you don't want to back them clear off because the engine's going to be hanging off of them. I don't have an engine stand or anything under it because I really don't have, they, they have engine stands, you know, then you know, you'll have this one for this one, and this one for this one, and this one for this one, and this one for this one. Next thing you know, you got ten thousand dollars in, in invested in uh, tools that you use two or three times a year. It doesn't quite fit uh, even the things that they're supposed to fit. So basically, the dealerships get them because they work on the same thing all the time. Independence, we work on everything, so. We don't get them. We have to make do. And not only that, it's up in the air. And I'm not. So my stand wasn't tall enough. So you just stack it. That way, ground will catch you if it fails. I know what some of them will say. Well, it's a reusable gasket. You don't have to replace the gasket. You don't have to replace the gasket. Okay. Um, but you should. You've got it apart. We're not out in the sticks where it's going to be three weeks to get one. So, why not do the job right? Do it once, do it right. Because believe me, you have to replace the gaskets. You didn't get it after it started leaking. I did. So don't tell me about, oh, you can reuse this. Even the reusable transmission pan gaskets that are nice and thick, second or third time, you have to replace it. Sometimes the first time you have to replace it. You just have to feel the rubber and see if it's still going to be able to seal when you get it back together. So, manufacturers, stop building this junk. All right? Maybe, just maybe, if you build a car right, low cost on the maintenance, 
you'll sell more of them. It'll fill the secondary market. It'll fill the third market. They'll just keep on going. You'll have a great reputation by word of mouth rather than spending tens and hundreds of millions of dollars in advertising trying to overcome your junk. For all you listeners out there, think about that when you're getting your repair done and you think it's going to cost too much. Every single year it gets worse. The next one you buy will be worse than the one you have. Nine times out of ten, the cheapest vehicle you'll ever own is the one you have already. So like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it around. We'll talk to you later.